Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show Action Edition, where we feature feedback from you, our listeners. I'm here with my old buddy, Larry. And Larry, what's been going on? Oh, John, it's summertime. It's been hot, man. We've just been oh. busy. We're trying to do inside jobs now, right? Oh. Trying to stay out yeah, of heat. I'm, well, we've got some we've got some outside stuff going on, but uh, I'm not looking too forward to that. But <laughs> it is what uh, I hate that saying, but it is what it is, kind of thing. And we gotta gotta do gotta do what you gotta do. So gotta do what you gotta do. We're, it is what we're it is. good. So, hey, we got an email from Charles this uh, this week. Charles left us a message. He said, I'm installing can lights in my ceiling. Is there an easy way to mark the ceiling? And I think what he's referring to is he's trying to get a line down the center of his, um, you know, the, or center, he's trying to get lines that are parallel or lines down the ceiling so that he can put all these can lights in a, in a row, yeah. right, so that they yeah. all that they look right, that you don't look down the line and go, wow, what was that guy drinking that night when he put that right. stuff in, you know? Right. Right. Um, so yeah, we've got a, we've got a couple of ways. There's the old tried and true fashion of snapping a line, but it, snapping a line is actually pretty difficult. And um, so we, so John, you and I, we talked before the show. I said let's 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 answer Charles' question via the the modern and updated way, which is to use a laser level, right, or a Absolutely. laser or a laser pointer or whatever you want to call it, but the, an actual laser level. Level. So. Um, me being me, you know, I have done enough tile between tile jobs and other jobs that I have a laser level, and I know you've got. Well, actually, I've got two laser levels. I think you've got a couple of them mm-hmm. too. I, I I bucked up and spent a little bit of money. I spent just about a hundred dollars on one that actually has an ex, that does both a vertical and a horizontal line for the yeah. one that I do. And you actually adjust the height by changing where you mount it, you know. But it's on a it's on a gimbal, so it turns one hundred and eighty degrees. But that's what I use, and that was that was about a hundred dollars. Um, but it's funny because with Charles, you know, on that message, I actually installed can lights up in a, in a place I was working on, and I, it's literally what I used it for. I stuck it in one place. I, I set it off the wall. I fired the laser line down the, the ceiling. I then measured in one side of the room and the other side of the room to make sure it was parallel to the wall. And uh, voila, I had a straight line down, and then I set my distance apart just using the laser line and put X where I wanted the holes, right? So really pretty simple. A- a- absolutely, and the- these things are these things are amazing these days for for what they for for how much they cost, and and it really is a tool that I'm almost going to say everybody everybody that's that's doing a lot of DIY needs. Okay, it's just going to save a lot of headaches. It's going to save a lot of time. Uh, you know, if you're going to do things like install a suspended ceiling in your basement, let's say, and you need to shoot a line around the basement. Uh, you you need to you need to have that line that's level. Uh, before the advent of these things, it was a real pain in the butt to to do that kind of thing to make sure that it was completely level. Oh, you just take your four foot level and walk all the way around the room. You Come walk, on. and you know honestly, that's that's how we did it. We we had to walk it all the way around and then get up there and then you know just kind of start to eyeball it. But you know now with with these things, if you're going to put up uh, like uh, like chair rails. Uh, you know, around your uh, dining room or th- something like that. That you shoot a line, and you just go about your business and put that thing up. I mean, you know, any more all those kind of things are are easy to accomplish with uh with these uh with these la- uh, laser levels. You know, and some of them are you know powerful enough to uh, to be seen outdoors. You know, the green ones. Yep. So, um. You know, for uh, you know any kind of any kind of concrete masonry blocks and things like that. I mean, you did we we talked about this before. Your your outside deck and make sure everything's level. We used my little one when we were when we were uh, laying out that floor in one of our one of our projects um, that one time. You know, to make sure that the flooring was straight. Yep. You know, that the, the the lines were straight. Yeah, we actually so, ran that down the gap, right? Remember that that's was right. that was a kind of a different use. But what what we were doing is we were laying flooring. And we wanted to make sure that the flooring was actually square, so there weren't any funky gaps, you know, in the flooring it, itself. And we shot a line just straight down the edge because optically in that room, if you'll remember, it that didn't look was, right because the wall was off. The wall was way off. And if we would have run that, if we would have run that flooring the way that wall was. You would have looked in the door from the hallway and seen that the lines on the flooring were sideways, yep. you know, or, you know, 
So, um, so that's yeah. an additional use. We talked about using laser levels on our show about hanging pictures and mirrors and things. Definitely right. very, very useful for anything like that. Um, what else can you use it for, John? I mean, I know you you have this habit of going down by the airport and trying to shoot down airplanes with it, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just leveling out the planes. That's all. <laughs> Um, I'm just kidding. Don't do you know, that, by the way, folks. Yeah. You know, hey, you know, if you have one that you can see outside, maybe you're doing uh, fences posts, you know, on your deck. Um, I mean, there's all – I mean, it's endless. It, it's it endless. really Any is endless. Any place that you need to, to, to level things off, you don't want to – you know, Larry, you're talking about snapping a line, which is which is fine. Um, but, you know, when, when uh, Charles was talking about the ceiling here, you're not going to be snapping a line on somebody's ceiling. You, you can't. Know? <laughs> you can. It's just really hard well, to do. Well, with the chalk. I mean, with the chalk line. Yeah, yeah. not with the chalk line. You know. <laughs> you, you can run a string. The problem is it's hard to measure it, right? To get it really it, right, it's, it's hard, hard to get it measured. It's really especially, hard to get it done. Exactly, especially when you're on a, when you're on a ladder and stuff. You, you know, it's really nice to be able to stand down, you know, stay, as you, were, you know, st- stand on the floor. And then look up because that's the way you're gonna. It's gonna be seen anyways. Exactly. And to lay it and lay it out that way, and then you know exactly how you want it, and and that way it's you know now once you know where you want it, then you can you know mark it. But it's uh yeah these things are these things are really great and they're self leveling. They can be right. So I, can, we were going to talk about that one. So here's the differences, right? So for about twenty five bucks, you can get yourself a laser level. It's probably not self leveling, but right. That's the one I carry in my bag. It's just a little one that's not self leveling. If you're good with a with a, just a regular level, you can make it. You can level it up. You can get it level. You use the level up underneath the laser pointer, right? I mean, that's how yep. you do it. So some of them have a have an actual ball in the in the the non level non self leveling have a ball and the the small one that I have John which I use mostly for picture hanging has a ball in it so mm. you can level it up just by reading the ball just like you're using right. a level so that works out really well and then I, that one you actually pin to the wall if you're doing like pictures and stuff you just put two pinholes in the walls it's actually got a pin mount and boom and you fire that thing up it shoots a line about 15 feet straight down the line it's it's perfectly level and you by the way when you do this stuff back off and look at it so back off to the back of the room and make sure it's level especially if you're working in an older house because oh boy walls settle yeah. and stuff sometimes it's it's a it's an optical illusion so you want to take a step back and take a look at it from a distance to make sure it's it's actually how you want it to work because sometimes it's not all level isn't always perfect anyway be that as it may you can get those or you as you step up you'll start getting what's called self-leveling and that is you put it on a tripod and it actually has a it's on a ball on like a gimbal inside it and it comes up and right. it's perfectly level and which perfectly is really square. which is really cool yeah. so you know you're, you're going to do some tile work in, inside, let's say you're going to do some tile work inside your, uh, uh, your either your uh, backsplash on your kitchen or some tile work inside a uh, bathroom, you know bathroom. Whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And just you know, boom, you put this thing up. It it draws some cross lines for you. Everything's perfectly level. You know where to start. Yep. And and so and two from cost. You know, about twenty five hundred dollars up to however much you want to spend depending on well, your application. Twenty five bucks. Twenty five dollars. Let me. Yeah. What did I say? Twenty five hundred. Oh, I excuse think. me, 25, 25. <laughs> I meant 20, that's 2,500 pennies. Um, <laughs> yeah, about 25, $25 up to, you know, for a, for a really high quality one, you can spend thousands, but you can get them up to three or $400. I wouldn't suggest you spend that. The one I bought is a, is a self-leveling one. It happens to be made by Johnson. It was about $100, came with a tripod, you know, its own tripod. So, you know, you got, you got it all in a kit. And it fires up, and it, it actually has like a 40 or 50-foot range, and it'll square a room. So you can use it all the way around the room. It really works good. You know, it just depends on your application. But I would tell you, definitely think about getting a laser level. Anything else, John? I think uh, – nope, I think that's it. All right. Well, don't forget to join our Facebook group at Handyman Pros. Join in the conversation. Send, an, send us an email at questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. Or go to our homepage and up on the right-hand corner, leave us a voice message. We'd love to get your voice messages out on the mail or out on the, out on the air, out on the mail. Where am I going with the mail, John? Oh, it's because I'm looking at my bills. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> You're but slipping. I'm slipping. But anyway, well, we appreciate it, and we will talk to you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this podcast and have derived some value from it, here's four things you can do. One, tell your friends about this podcast. Two, hit subscribe on your podcast player. While you're there, leave us a review. Three, subscribe to our newsletter by going to handymanprosradioshow.com and click on the subscribe button. 
We'll inform you of upcoming events, shows, and give you actionable tips for maintaining your home and property. And four, send us an email with your questions to questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. That's handymanprosradioshow.com. That's our show for this week. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week on the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Thank you.